Dear fellow BART passenger, Today was supposed to be remembered as my last day of work at my summer internship. But after our encounter this morning, I'll fondly look back on this Thursday as the day I got my ass grabbed on the BART to San Francisco. At first, I wasn't certain that anything inappropriate was going on. I had a headache and a cough, and I was 30 minutes late on my last day. Being assaulted was the last thing I was worried about. But after you brushed up against my hip one too many times, I began to take notice. I realized that despite close quarters, you were much closer than you needed to be. You positioned yourself so that my back was flat against your chest. I didn't intend to vertically spoon with anyone on public transportation this morning. I looked down at your jeans, which led me to deduce that it was your erection causing this uncomfortable sensation. You don't fit the typical profile of a pervert. You're not middle-aged, balding, wearing a trench coat. You're actually an attractive Asian male about six feet tall with an athletic build. And most surprising of all, you're young, no older than 25. If you'd asked for my number, I probably would have given it to you. So I was willing to ignore the constant brush-ups that occurred every time the train jolted. I was willing to walk away irritated, but optimistic about human nature. Besides, I could just scoot away a little bit. If I wasn't positive that you had inappropriate intentions, why cause a fuss? But then I felt your fingers graze my rear, and you confirmed every suspicion. So I whipped my head around and asked, What are you doing? Immediately you apologized, and looked sheepish more than anything. You didn't even try to play it off like you were innocent. I have to give you credit for that. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with a slightly instable, fed-up-with-men feminista who was having a bad day as it was, I'm sorry, just didn't cut it. Because this is the first time I've spoken up against behavior I've been subjected to countless times before, your apology just wasn't enough. So forgive me for not letting you slide with your I'm sorry. Forgive me for insisting on making a scene in front of the other people on that train. When you tried to leave at the next stop, Coincidentally, my stop. I had every intention of leaving this incident behind. But forgive me for turning back around, grabbing you by the collar, demanding, Why were you touching me on the BART? in front of all those onlookers. Forgive me for screaming repeatedly, What makes you think it's okay to touch women like that? While pedestrians stopped and looked on. Forgive me for refusing to let you go, for kneeing you in the crotch repeatedly. I was trying to go for where it hurt the most. Forgive me. Because you have to understand, you got me where I hurt the most. Do I feel empowered? Hardly. I've been recounting this tale to friends and co-workers. <laughs> I kicked the pervert's ass. But the truth is, I don't feel any more empowered for fighting back. My reaction today was the exception, not the rule. This once, I didn't stand for it. This once, I spoke up. But for this instance, for every time I yell, Fuck off! at an unwanted come on, there are countless other occasions when I remain silent. For every woman willing to fight back, there are many others too scared to say anything. If it was just the two of us on the bus, would I have summoned up the same courage? If this happened at night, would I have dared to grab you by the shirt? I don't fool myself to think you that I'm any safer just because I fought back this one time. So no, I don't feel empowered. And no, calling you out on your behavior doesn't make me feel like I've reclaimed the dignity I lost when you invaded my space. You walked away embarrassed, but I walked away a little less whole than I was when I left my house this morning. I hope you realize that every time you and other men touch me, honk at me, 
leer at me, call to me, or otherwise mistreat me, you add ever so slightly to the collective fear of women in the world. I'm just a young woman trying to get to work on time. I'm five foot two, small framed, not very intimidating outside the boardroom. Every day, I have to brace myself when I pass a man on the street, because invariably, two or three will make a comment or give me a look over that leaves me feeling victimized. So I've taken to mentally preparing for those instances. No one should have to look away, hoping to escape notice on the street. No one should have to prefer invisibility to acknowledgement. You, you're just another concern on my already long list of worries. Last week, I had to laugh off a honk when walking my little sister to school. Last month, I had to maneuver away from a man who cornered me for my number on the AC transit. And because of you, tomorrow, I'll have to worry about being groped on the BART. A sudden gust of wind Leaving them bewildered To ask how I recall as time 